Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Imagine a world. Not just any world, but one that shouldn't exist. One that defies every rule we thought we understood about how planets form and survive. For decades, our models for planetary birth revolved around stars like our sun, slowly gathering dust and gas over millions of years. But what if a planet was found orbiting something truly alien? Something that had already died a violent, cosmic death? What if there was a planet that looked out not at a bright, life-giving star, but at a rapidly spinning, dead stellar core emitting deadly radiation. This isn't science fiction. This is the reality of pulsar planets, and they are some of the universe's most mind-bending enigmas. The first confirmed exoplanets ever discovered weren't orbiting a sun-like star at all. They were found around PSR B1257 plus 12, a pulsar, the super-dense, rapidly rotating remnant of a star that exploded in a supernova. Think about that for a second. Supernova is one of the most cataclysmic events in the universe, an explosion powerful enough to obliterate anything nearby. Yet, somehow, three rocky worlds, ranging from moon size to several times Earth's mass, orbit this cosmic ticking clock. How could they have possibly survived such an inferno? Current theories suggest these planets didn't survive the supernova. Instead, they might have formed after asterisk it, coalescing from the debris left behind in a fallback disk. A swirling ring of matter that didn't quite escape the pulsar's gravitational grasp. The intense radiation and lack of traditional stellar light make these worlds utterly hostile to life as we know it. Yet their mere existence forces us to redefine the boundaries of planetary formation and resilience in the most extreme environments imaginable. These impossible worlds constantly challenge our deepest understanding of the cosmos, proving that the universe truly excels at surprise. Thanks for watching, please subscribe my YouTube channel for more interesting videos.